another uh, cover crop that uh, kind of unique to us. Uh, we can thank our uh, one of our salesmen, uh, Colton Catterin, for this. Uh, we uh, he had this growing in his garden in the summer of 2012 and drought killed everything but this plant. He said, we need to explore this plant some more. And uh, we found that not only does it survive a lot of heat and drought, but it's uh, an exceptionally good forage plant. Uh, surprisingly, cattle really like to eat the leaves and the pods on this. And this is the same okra that's used for human food. I'm kind of fond of it myself, and so are cattle. Some other attributes that it has as a cover crop is it has oh, very impressive taproot. Um, this will root down actually deeper than sunflowers. It's more heat and drought tolerant than sunflowers. So as far as a broadleaf plant to include in a summer grazing mix or a soil improving mix, uh, the deep tap roots and the good drought tolerance, great forage quality. It's one of the uh, one of the more useful plants. I uh, I always put about a pound an acre of okra in every summer grazing mix, unless someone objects to it. That uh, something that I found very useful. Rising uh, benefit of okra is how fast it regrows after it's been grazed. Um, this is where the, the cattle came in uh, three weeks ago. Um, we're in October now, so we're really at the very tail end of the growth of summer annuals. But look how well this okra has regrown since it was grazed. The animals strip the leaves and the pods off, and then the leaves regenerate from the stems, which they tend to leave alone. And you can see all these grazed stems here in a summer grazing mix, um, that can be a real advantage. These stems remain standing into the winter. They turn dark color after frost, and they're very, very good at trapping snow. And so if uh, moisture recharge during the winter is something that's important to you, okra is a pretty good plant to include in a summer grazing mix that'll be left grazed and left standing over the winter.